This year, Americans will spend a billion dollars on electronic toys, toys that didn't even exist just a few years ago. It all started with Simon, a flashing, beeping electronic game that tested your sight, sound, and memory. The industry has since exploded, giving us scores of similar games, some smaller, some more complicated, but all dazzling. Now, the ultimate, the first talking electronic game in the world. The object of the game is to match the last phrase of the words up and under the red buttons with the yellow, like this. Kiss my lips. And if you're wrong, Milton will say, or he might give you the raspberry. If you win the game, he'll salute you. Milton is the result of two and a half years and a half million dollars in research, assisted in good part by former employees of the U.S. space program. Milton's voice is not recorded. It is synthesized by a computer chip, which is part of a complex microcomputer with two libraries of information. The entire game weighs only half a pound and is only the beginning. We're coming to voice recognition, perhaps, in games. When you talk to a game, it'll play with it. All sorts of things are coming. It'll be very hard to even imagine. Just 10 years ago, Merritt says, computers for running Milton would have filled two average-sized rooms. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.